Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Aqua Allegoria Bergamont Calabria from Gerla. This was launched in 2017 and it was created by Thierry Wasser and Delphine Yelk. Delphine Yelk has worked on some of the other flankers of La Petite Robe Noire and Mont Gerla, among other perfumes. The top notes of this fragrance are bergamot, petit grain, middle notes are cardamom and ginger, and base notes are woody notes and white musk. So when I first got it and I sprayed it on myself, I absolutely loved it. It was a hot day and it smelled so green and citrusy and refreshing. And it had a light sweetness to it, not much. And at first I could only smell the green leaves. The Petit Grand note is quite dominant along with Bergamo. And then once it settles, in about 30 minutes or so, I get a bit of cardamom and a hint of ginger. So cardamom is a spice that I use in cooking quite a bit. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I am always a bit apprehensive about spices in a fragrance. And cardamom is one of the spices that my grandfather used to use to make tea, which I had for several years when I was growing up. And I used to love it so much until one day he started adding other things like basil and ginger to the tea. And after that, I don't know what happened, but I was done with cardamom, in tea at least. I still use it for cooking, but it went from a love to a like. And cardamom is a very refreshing, cooling, almost minty spice. I mean, we also use it as a breath freshener and a digestive after meals. And that is how it is even in this fragrance. It makes this refreshing and cooling. And I get the cardamom skin, not the seeds. The seeds tend to be quite intense, but the skin is a bit mild, it's fibrous, slightly like dry wood. And that's how it smells to me in this fragrance. And after an hour or so, the cardamom actually intensifies and pairs up with Petit Grain to become a very green, leafy, slightly dark, um, almost even bitter, more like a men's cologne, if that makes sense. So it's a fragrance that starts out unisex and turns quite masculine. Yeah, and <laughs> so I sprayed it on my husband, but he didn't like it initially. I have been spraying on him for last few days, hoping that he would like it. And even on me, he doesn't like it. He calls it the husband repellent. And he says that about a few of my fragrances. So now I have to finish this whole bottle and I'm hoping that my husband would like it too. I mean, I don't mind it. It's a nice fragrance. It's very light. And so after an hour or so, it is a close skin scent, but you can make it last longer by spraying it on clothes. So on my skin, it lasts about four or five hours. And on the clothes, yeah, I get whiffs all day long. So if you like citrusy, bergamot and cardamom fragrances, then you'll like this one. I recently returned a Jo Malone fragrance, which I mentioned in my Jo Malone Returns video, and that was cardamom and mimosa. I couldn't stand the cardamom in that because it completely overtook the mimosa and I was hoping to get more of mimosa than cardamom. But this isn't like that. The cardamom is muted, though it's very much present throughout and at least on me you know after the first 30 minutes it's cardamom is very pronounced but it's still a very citrusy earthy cooling refreshing fragrance and it's great for the summer months and i think it'll also work well as a linen spray for summer months a pretty expensive one though for a room spray but very high quality i will certainly not be repurchasing this one I will go back to my regular Aqua Allegoria fragrances that I like and enjoy. So that was it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And what do you think of this fragrance if you have it? Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.